These pedals look and function like Legos. They even got featured by Pink Bike, and I 3D printed them in my garage, but like, why? So a few months ago, I had my bike shoes on and I stepped on a Lego right here on the concrete floor of my garage and it stuck to the bottom of this shoe. So then it hit me, what if I made pedals that were Legos and then the Lego on the bottom of the shoe could clip to the Lego pedal like a clipless pedal? I know it's a bad idea, but I never let that stop me. Maybe I could make stepping on Legos a better experience. There was just a couple things I wanted out of these pedals. Number one, I wanted to be able to actually ride them. Not just plastic junk that looks cool, I wanted to be able to use them. And that's kind of hard when it comes to using PLA filament because it's not very strong. It's like the white bread of filament. It makes a great looking sandwich, but it's not very nutritious. And number two, I wanted real Lego bricks to actually stick to the pedals. This was key to making the clipless shoe Lego system. So for the first part, actually riding them, we know that the axle is the heart of the pedal. In fact, in a pinch, you could probably just ride around on this axle with no pedal body at all. You'd be fine, just don't do anything crazy. So to make this work, we performed an experimental surgery, axle transplant, from this 2008 specialized dirt jumper pedal to my 2022, Lego pedals. Now this pedal has a bearing on one side and a bushing on the other side. Lego pedals, I was not about to put bearings in there. So they are just a plastic bushing all the way through. Then we get to my number two requirement that the Legos actually stick. Oh, -ho -ho! so there's just a couple of design factors influencing how well these bricks stick to these pedals. You got the center to center distance of these holes. And number two, the actual diameter. You need to make sure that the pegs are big enough so they firmly fill the space in between here without getting too big where you can't actually stick it. It's a fine balance and that can be really hard, especially with 3D printing when things tend to expand or shrink at different temperatures and my machines are pretty cheap. Now for this part, it's kind of a dirty secret. I literally just glued a regular Lego brick to the bottom of the shoe. Kind of boring. It worked for the video until it didn't. Turns out these are so grippy, you don't need the brick anywhere. They're kind of nice to pedal with. Enough talking, let's check out the footage of how these pedals performed. I started out with a bunny hop onto a picnic table. I was kind of thinking they would just shear off as soon as I jumped off the ground, but I was pleasantly surprised. This led to the huck to flat test where I was again pleasantly surprised. Then we headed to the skate park where my friend Christian put some real work in on the pedals with his lip slides. Now, nice. can you just please take a moment here and appreciate the skill of this man. This is a manual to the ledge slide, back to manual, still going, still going, still going. Yeah! Then we wanted to stretch out those lip slides a bit more, so we added some wheels to the bottom of the pedals. I'm using some UV glue here. When's the last time you glued some wheels to your pedal at the skate park? <laughs> Turns out the glue worked pretty well. The wheels didn't really extend the lip slide at all, though. In fact, they were gone in the first few centimeters. <laughs> I would not have expected that. <laughs> Dude, Legos are so tough. The wheels ended up getting scattered to all four corners of the skate park, but we did manage to find them all before we called it a day. Thank you for watching. I hope this inspired you to maybe do some fun design projects of your own. And um, yeah, see you in the next one. Please consider subscribing. <laughs>